Headline, Trump's Jerusalem Declaration Paves the Way for the Third Temple. The issuing of the temple coin depicts Cyrus. I have the coin. I got it in Israel. K King Cyrus, who allowed the Jewish people to return to and build the temple, along with, along with Trump. Trump. Well, I'm there. Now, remember, this was the year. This was, so, so you may have not realized, you kind of went through, but this 2018 is the year that America moved its embassy to the city of Jerusalem. That's a major thing. That these, that, you know, with the recognizing Jerusalem, that, that you kind of said, you kind of felt as if you were back then on the Six Day War and you witnessed that event when that happened across. Remember the world went crazy when they did this? But the Bible says it must be. It must be. The temple must be rebuilt. We know that. But one of the sacrifices in the temple is called the red heifer. Rabbi said that before the temple, the third temple could be built, there has to be born a red heifer, a heifer completely red. Now they thought they found the four, but they never found one. They always turn out not to be. But this autumn, they have the report that they actually they verified the first red heifer born in 2,000 years, signaling the end of days, they said. Entirely. The cow's birth, they said. Now we can go forward with the, with the construction of the Temple of Jerusalem. Now something else, I mentioned it on Friday because that was the scripture. But the Bible speaks that when Israel comes back to the land and there's redemption, it says the waters of the Dead Sea will become purified. There'll be fish, fish swimming in the Dead Sea. Well, you can't do that. There's no fish. You could survive that. No life, pretty much. But they just had reports in Israel that there are now sightings of fish swimming in the Dead Sea. Conclusion. And they're not just floating on top, relaxing like we do when we go there. <laughs> to find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA.